death is one of those things that really does permit us to uh, bridge fairly deep breadths of distance between us and others at times. And this was a, a jump of empathy that I had that just made me more cognizant of her as an individual by thinking very pointedly about how she died. Lucy's one of the earliest uh, uh, specimens of early human evolution, so a hominid. Uh, she dates to about 3.2 million years ago and was found in the Afar Depression of Ethiopia in 1974. She's one of the most completely uh, represented skeletons, and as such, uh, she's been able to tell us a lot about early uh, humans. The reason Lucy came to UT was because we were the first industrial type CT scanner in a science department in the world uh, in the Jackson School. Industrial CT is based on all the same principles as medical CAT scanning, where you lie in a bed and go through a big donut, and x-rays are shining all around you, and uh, by gathering data from x-rays shining all around you in a circle and then reconstructing those with a computer, you come up with a picture of what you look like along a slice. And by building up a series of slices, you can like rebuild the loaf of bread and come up with a complete representation of what the patient or the fossil is inside and out. We had the idea that we could put together a complete story of how she lived. Now we didn't anticipate coming up with a complete story of how she died as well, but that's something that happened. Well, we've been working on the scans of you know, plus and minus uh, over the intervening years, and it was in the course of uh, examining uh, some of the elements, uh, and first off the humerus, that it struck me that the breaks on the end of the humerus at the shoulder, so what we call the proximal end, uh, were unusual kinds of breaks, that they were compressive breaks uh, rather than a dislocative break. When you look at fossils for years and years, all fossils are broken, they're stepped on, they're deformed, just because of all the things that can happen between when something dies and when it gets fossilized and things, and dug out. And so you look at that for years and years until the idea suddenly hits, well, maybe there's a reason that bone is crushed in in that particular way. Looking at the configuration of the break, that this is a unique signature, so it's a compressive signature. And one of the aspects of this with uh, all of these tiny fragments is that if this had happened on dry bone, somehow laying on the surface of the ground, something impact in it, which is really hard to figure out what that might have been. But if that had happened on dry bone, all of these fragments would have dispersed out on the surface. And the fact that they're all still maintained in their relative positions to one another suggests very strongly that the covering of the bone called the periosteum and also the joint capsule uh, that holds that shoulder joint together were intact at the time of the injury. It was on that basis that we felt that we had identified a paramortem fracture, so a fracture that occurred in life. And what's interesting with this kind of a fracture within humans today is that it occurs uh, as a result of a fall. So as a person falls, uh, it can be either from standing height or from some elevation. They reach out their arms, you've probably done this too, to try to break your fall. And the force then, when the hand hits the ground, the force impacts the shoulder against the scapula. And that forces then the scapula uh, down. It works kind of as an anvil or a punch. And it forces it down on top of the head. And that force then impacts the two elements together and causes that kind of a compressive break. So not only is this a paramortem fracture within Lucy, but it's also a fracture that tells us that she was very probably conscious at the time that she fell. Lots of other uh, fractures throughout the skeleton, literally from uh, head to toes. We think that she probably landed feet first. Uh, the fracture that we see at the knee suggests that her body twisted to the right side. Her left humerus, uh, shoulder is also fractured, not as severely as the right. That tells us that when she hit, conscious with her arms extended, that there was more force on the right side than the left. So we think she came down on the right side. And in uh, falling in that way, she also fractured her hip. So we have that fracture as well that shows that the force went from right to left. And then there are fractures of the ribs, some of the vertebrae, uh, the mandible, and some uh, cranial elements. So that leads us then to think about what kind of a height that would have required uh, to suffer this sort of an injury. The question with Lucy and with many of these early uh, hominids is whether or not they were arboreal. The debate for Lucy has been going on ever since she was discovered, so more than 40 years, uh, with some camps arguing, no, she was absolutely terrestrial, no evidence for being in the trees, 
and other groups saying, yes, she was arboreal at times, and she was also terrestrial. So we see a combination of these things. Uh, because she was so tiny, she weighed a little bit less, probably than 60 pounds. It's likely that she went up into the trees just for safety at night to get away from predators, the same reason that many chimpanzees nest in the trees now. Uh, average chimpanzee nest height in both savanna and forest settings comes out to nearly 14 meters. So if you imagine driving along at that speed and slamming into a brick wall, that would be the kind of an impact uh, that uh, it would suffer. But it's a combination of both the fractures and internal organ injury that kills the person. So it's not just the bones that are compressed by the fracture, but all of the internal organs suffer deceleration as well. Uh, for some of these cases, uh, uh, organs actually rip loose from their mourning. So uh, it's likely, we think, based on uh, the position of the legs and also the arms, that she was conscious when she hit. But because of the severity of the fractures, it's very, I think, likely that she suffered severe internal organ damage uh, on probably every organ and that death followed very swiftly. And so once I uh, had all of these different pieces together, I remember the, uh, the, the point in time exactly that I had all of the fragments laying out on the skeleton, and I could just picture for the very first time this assortment of bones as an individual, as a, as a person, not a human person, but an early human person, and uh, the body literally being crumpled, broken, and uh, Lucy dying, laying at the foot of a tree, that I could picture her as an individual for the very first time.